Hi guys, welcome to this channel. Um, today we will learn how to save and retrieve image from database. Okay, let's create new project. Yeah, application name will be save image. Then click on OK button. Expand this. Okay, then I need label. Then picture box. Then button. Then list view tool. Change this label name text to file name. I need one more label. Its text will be question mark and the label name will be LBL file name. Okay, then I need two more buttons. This button will be BTN open. Then second button will be btn save and third button button load okay we need to change this button text also here open then save then load okay now and picture box change this name and uh, border style will be fixed to 3d and I click your small icon here change this uh, size mode to stretch image okay then uh, list view here change this name first list view only then uh, Go to view property you yeah, change this default large icon to details then a uh, multiple select multi select set this false then um, here we should display lines like grid view for that uh, set this grid lines property to true then here we should display the header name column header for that uh, here columns change this columns uh, create add then properties you yeah, change this text column header to file name click on ok now you want selected index change event and then we will write code for load button and then save and then open button ok before that uh, we should create a database already i have created a save image database Say uh, okay in that we should create table new table um, we will create um, another db right click new database your db name will be save image db then click on ok button here okay refresh this save image db okay right click new table inside this first column will be id data type integer and then file name where care max then data it's of the type image okay i want to set this id column as primary as well as identity column expand this identity specification here then set it to s okay it's for auto increment save this table table name will be my picture then click ok ok uh, in visual studio code now we want to add our entity data model ok add new item yes under data select adio.net entity model your name will be model then click add your ef designer from database 
select new connection your server name will be dot then database save image db click ok click on next next here expand this table dbo select this my picture table click on finish entity data model uh, table looks like this okay now we will write code here first i will declare variable string file name then uh, list of table name my picture and object will be list okay then first we will write code for this open button here using uh, open file dialog object will be oft equals new open file dialog here we filter um, jpeg format only jpeg k asterisk dot jpg then set validate names equal to true and then multi select equal to false Okay, inside this, if OFD dot show dialog equals hmm, dialog result dot OK, then file name will be open file dialog object. Then file name. Then we should display this file name in lab LBL file name label dot text equal to file name then picture box image dot equals uh, image dot from file your file name okay then we will write code for button save here we will use uh, entity data model save image ent db entities object name will be db equals new save image db entities inside this we will create a my picture table object picture equals new my picture here we will pass file name equals file name then now uh, data equals here we should um, send a converted uh, image that means we should uh, convert that image to binary then only we can insert image in our uh, databases okay for that we will create your byte byte array Let's convert image to binary inside you know, it says single parameter image okay inside this using here we will use memory stream class okay we should add namespace for this memory stream system dot io okay equals new memory stream okay inside that image dot save will pass ms memory stream object and a system dot drawing dot imaging then uh, image format will be jpg okay close the bracket okay then we should return this ms to array to array use this convert image to binary here inside this we should pass picture box dot image okay then db dot my pictures dot add picture here add semicolon okay 
then here we will use async and await keyword okay async and here we'll use await then db dot save changes async after inserting a image into database we should display the message box that show inside this um, we have message successfully saved then message title will be message and then message box buttons okay then message box icon will be information okay perfect save this next we'll write code for this list view selected index change okay let's see here um this list view um list of items will display if i change um select any list items it should display the corresponding um, picture in this picture box and the file name should display here okay i expand this one okay let's write code for selected index change here if um list view dot of forecast item not equal to null your picture box dot image yeah uh, when inserting image into database uh, we are converting image to binary when loading image from database we should convert um, image uh, binary to image okay for that image convert binary to image inside byte array then data yeah using we will use memory stream class ms equals new memory stream inside will pass the data object then uh, return image from stream ms okay then copy this you are pasting in here here will pass list then array inside list view dot focus item dot index index dot data then lbl file name dot text equals list view dot focused item dot sub items index will be zero then text then uh, we'll write code for this button load first we will clear the list view items dot clear then using save image entities db equals new save then list equals db dot my pictures dot uh, to list uh, here we will use for each class inside will pass my picture table then object picture in here we are getting a list of um, items in my pictures table we are assigning that to list object so we will use it list here then list uh, view item object item equals new list item inside picture dot file name then list view dot items dot add your item 
save this and coding all are completed okay now let's start the application click on this open button here select any image then click save here we have the message box successfully saved with ok button close this then click load here uh, we have the file name in list view ok just close this in form design change this form name text to Save image. It's expanded only. Start the application. Yeah, open. Save this second. Click save. It saved. Then open third. Click save. Okay, yeah load first second three okay images are displaying in this picture box okay now we will insert one more record click save click load button okay um save image under retrieving image from database are working fine okay guys uh, see you there in next video bye